Yeah, Ma, if your neighborhood restaurant had this kind of food, I bet you'll never eat at home again. This is really one of a kind. Look at these tasty barbecue char siu quesadilla. Crispy beer batter ahi rolls. And this wonderful roast duck nachos. Bring some friends and leave room for seconds. It is East West Cuisine from Hawaii. Today on Martin Yen's Chinatown. Mm, I am savoring Chef Glenn Chu's sesame ball. Delicious. Huan Ying, welcome. Come on in. Have I got a great treat for you today. You know, sometimes great tastes are discovered by accident. But the best innovation in modern cuisine don't happen by chance. Chefs around the world are bringing new style to old favorites. Today, we're going to meet two masters of fusion cuisine. Let's go straight to the place of the first East meets West in Honolulu. Chinatown in Honolulu definitely is part of a tropical paradise. Even the lions that guard its entrance look a bit more relaxed. And right behind the lions, the Indigo restaurant is the perfect place for relaxation. Owner and chef Glenn Chu is a master of East-West fusion cuisine. We're going to be doing goat cheese wontons, and we'll be serving it with a four fruit sauce. Goat cheese. I have a little bit of uh, bell peppers, both red and red green. And green. Mix more well, right? Mix well. Just a little bit onto your skin, yes. or wonton skins. And you fold it up around here so that it doesn't actually meet the other corner, but yes, overlaps yes. the other. Overlap. So you, you have, now you actually have one, two, three, four corners yes. here. Yes. And then I usually like to pull this up around. Yeah. And to the back. Yes. Okay, and it makes it like into like little flowers then. Yeah. We have our glue. Yeah. Put this on here. Yeah. And our little flowers, our one-ton flowers. Beautiful one-ton flower. Look at that. That's wonderful. Oh, nice and golden brown. Look at that. Look how fast that is. Very fast. Look at this. Nice and golden brown. Look at that. Whoa, this is beautiful. Chef Chu prepares this perfect one-ton, and he makes a very special dipping sauce. Mm. Superior. <laughs> Nice and fresh, very natural. I like Thank it. Thank you. And here's an age-old Chinese classic, Jin Dui. But I seldom see it in pink. We'll take the, uh, the dough and yes. just flatten it out. Okay, yeah. and we'll just leave it here for okay. just flatten a little bit here. Yes. And I shape this. And you shape that. And I shape this. Shape this, shape this. And just roll it into a ball. Roll it into a nice round ball. Nice. And then roll it in. And roll it into... in sesame seed. Oh, look okay. at this. Beautiful. Round ball like this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Nice and good amount. I think this is perfect. Let us take this out. Oh, look at this. And I will put this right over here. Let it drink really well. Hey, whoa. <laughs> and this is amazing. You go to a lot of restaurants, they always use the same sauce. But you have created a lot of dipping sauce. And what is this here? This is our this is my dragon fire sauce. This is dragon fire sauce. Wet, we have our tangerine sauce. Tangerine sauce. Four fruit sauce. Four fruit sauce. And Look at all this sauce. sauce. And this is all different sauces. It's the all great different thing sauces. about this is you can use this and dip it into all kinds exactly. of sauces. Exactly. That's exactly right. And they pair well together. And yeah. one of the things that I like is that uh, is how food sparkles on the palate. You know, if you have the dragon fire sauce, which is a little bit of heat, yet a little bit of sweetness, it goes well with the other sauces too. And it complements it extremely well. Well, I'm going to use your try your spring roll spring roll try it, it with the tangerine sauce tangerine I, I think it's just a sauce. very very nice uh, very interesting tangerine sauce mm. isn't that lovely it's not lovely 
is marvelous. This is our uh, dish with our, um, we have some fried uh, wonton skins. Yeah. Uh, and on top of it, we've got a, a seared fish. Seared and fish. Uh, we have a uh, mango salsa. As you can tell, Chef Glenn Chu is making his mark with innovations that come directly from his Chinese Hawaiian roots. Ganbei. Ganbei means cheer. Cheers to you. Cheers. Mm. Thank you for joining me today. And here's another Chinese Hawaiian innovator, Chef Alan Wong. My friend Alan is one of the pioneers of Pacific Rim cuisine. He's showing me how to make duck nachos. Uh, we make a crepe with tapioca starch. Yes. We cut it up and deep fry it. It comes out the texture like the, of a shrimp chip. Yeah. Beautiful. And then sort of inspired by like, uh, you know, like Peking duck. And look at this interesting presentation. Next, Chef Wong is going to add his Asian touch to the classic risotto. Risotto rice? Yeah, risotto rice. This is Italian stuff. Mm -hmm. Italian rice. Okay, how about you use regular rice? Uh, you could. Uh, it's the, the regular rice is short grain rice, huh? Yeah. So you get a different mm. texture. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit more juice. soft. This is the duck juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is beautiful. So you put the juice inside there, yeah, yeah. and then uh, just like risotto, you want to stir so that all of the liquid goes into the rice. The risotto is ready, but now comes something special, right roast duck leg. Duck leg, we place this right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. A little bit of juice. Juice. Whoa. And then just garnish with some tiny spots of the Chef Alan Wong's. Chinatown duck risotto. Now to eat. I'm having a banquet in front of the busy kitchen of Chef Ellen Wong's restaurant in Honolulu. Mmm. Good wine and great food. Okay, oh. I want you to try this. This one, you need to get the full effect of all the elements. Mmm. Great fish. With um, ginger, green onion crust. Chef Wong and my good friend Alice Inove are treating me to the best Pan-Asian creation. Steamed clams with Kahlua pork, roast duck nachos with Asian guacamole, and the Chinatown roast duck risotto. You know, the advantage of working or visiting a chef, I think a famous chef is every meal is a feast. That means lunch is a feast, Dinner's a feast, and then you left over meat knife feast. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. Whoa, it smells so good. I'm making Alan Wong's East West favorite char siu quesadilla. I can smell it's nice and golden brown on one side. Mmm, let's turn it over. Look at how bit. I'm gonna brown the other side. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this at home. Here. I have a lot of ingredient here. The first thing I'm gonna do is make the salsa. You see this? The salsa, I have fresh water chestnut, tomato, green onion, and cilantro, and chopped onion. Now this, look at this. This is beautiful, fresh water chestnut. I'm gonna show you how it is, easy it is when it's in season. You cut this off, you cut this off, and then use a knife, and you peel it, okay? You peel it, you peel it, Use a little paring knife, okay? Of course, for the Chinese chef, you know what they use? They use a Chinese cleaver. The great thing about fresh water chestnut is when they're in season, they're so much better than the canned ones because they're nice and sweet. In fact, in Asia, when you visit Asia, what happens is you can actually, oh, you know what? You can actually eat this and buy this in a street vendor. And it's so sweet. It's so much better. In fact, Honolulu have a lot of these wonderful water chestnut. In fact, I only buy on this side because I'm eating the whole thing. So I'm gonna cut the rest myself, okay? Save this piece for myself. And I cut this up. You see? Okay, and I'm gonna put also this in our wonderful salsa. Fresh ingredient. I'm gonna put all these ingredients. Look Fresh water chestnut, tomato, green onion, mm, chopped onion, cilantro, and some ginger and garlic. 
put them all together, okay? And then we're gonna put a tiny bit of salt. If you want, you know what you can do? Put a tiny bit of, hey, this is my favorite, chili garlic sauce. Wonderful. Mix them all up, you know? You know, I love salsa because you know why? You can use this for a lot of dishes. And that's the reason why we always make a lot more. We're gonna put a tiny bit more of these over here. Mm, put them all together. And then we're gonna put the salsa right on the plate so we can serve our char siu quesadilla. I'm gonna put it on the plate, right in the middle of the plate, right here. Look at this, it's a beautiful plate. I put all the salsa right in the middle because I love salsa so much, I actually use more than Chef Allen. Look at this, put it right in the middle, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make the filling, okay? Her, oh, look at this, we have barbecue duck, Chinese sausage, look at this, Chinese sausage, slice, and also some green onion, and cha siu, cha siu means barbecue pork. I'm gonna put all of these, put it right here, because the Chinese sausage have enough oil, so you don't have to add any oil, and you toss the food, whoa, look at this. And I think this is getting there. Let's check how beautiful this side is. Mmm, whoa, this is beautiful. I don't want to waste this. I'm gonna put this right over here, nice and hot, and I set it aside. In the meantime, I wanna show you how easy it is to serve this, okay? You cut this up, cut this up, cut this up, cut this up, just like a uh, pizza. And then you put this quesadilla like this, then I'm gonna show you how wonderful this is when you serve these to your guests. I'm gonna put this right over here. Stack them all up, stack them all up. Mm, this is so beautiful. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this. This is the sauce. Put a tiny bit of hoisin sauce. Put a tiny bit of pepper. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Uh, this is the filling. This is the filling. We're gonna have a lot of filling. We'll put all the filling right over here. Mm. Show you how easy to do it. Here, you heat up a frying pan. Put a teeny tiny bit of oil, not much, okay? Mm, look at this. And then you put one of these flour tortillas. In any cuisine, any culture, every single culture, every single cuisine has one of these thin pancakes. The Chinese have Mandarin pancake and green onion pancake. The Mexican, have, Mexican cuisine has flour tortilla and corn tortilla. And then what you do is, you put this right over here. Look at that. All of this filling. Barbecue pork, sausage, duck, and this is mozzarella cheese. Okay, put it right here. Okay, look at that. This is so beautiful. Now, you put them all together like this, and you put another one right on top. You just let it brown. Push it like this, or you can just use this to push it, push it, make sure they are nice, and make sure the cheese melt, okay? I think it takes about two minutes on each side. Let's check the uh, cheese. Whoa, look at that, the cheese is actually melted. I'm gonna turn this upside down, and let it continue to cook another side for another two minutes. Now we're ready to serve these. Look at this. See, we always have a lot of people in the studio. All the crews are always hungry, so we'll always make more. This, you put the last piece in, and sprinkle a tiny bit of these in. Look at this, beautiful pieces of green onion. This is what you have. Chef Ellen Wong's East West favorite char siu quesadilla. I am spraying the rice on this seaweed to make my good friend Chef Chu's ahi roll from Honolulu. Now when you use this sushi rice, they're sticky, they're medium grain, so you gotta use your hand, look at this. I put my hand in a little water with a tiny bit of vinegar, uh, rice vinegar. So this way, you see, it does not stick to your hand. I'm gonna spread a little bit more rice. This is what I call the sushi rice, medium grain. And then we're gonna have some ahi. This is ahi, you can use tuna, Sushi gray, wonderful ahi. Kind of the long strips like this, okay? And then some carrot and 
Ah, uh -huh. this is flowering chai. Flowering chai, carrot. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, and then also some wonderful, ah, wonderful pickle pink ginger right here. And then to flavor this, I put a tiny bit of white pepper, a tiny bit of salt, and not only that, we're going to also use some apote. You see, this is apote. This is the chili. We we'll chop this up, mix with a tiny bit of chopped garlic and also mayonnaise. Put them all together right here. If you want, you can also use a tiny bit of uh -huh, wasabi, okay? Wasabi. This will flavor our ahi roll. You know, when I was in Indigo, Chef Glenchu was so gracious, presenting me with some of these wonderful East, Miss West, wonderful dish. A tiny bit of sesame seed, give the extra contrast. Then you roll it up like this. You roll it up, you see this? You roll it up, you roll it up, and you roll it up, and you roll it up, and you roll it up. Mm. Look at this, right around here. Look at this, mm. roll it up, roll it up. Beautiful roll like this, okay? This is a wonderful roll. The next thing you do is make a batter, okay? This is flour, tiny bit of uh -huh, egg white or egg, tiny bit of water, and almond meal, mm, some almond meal. If you love beer, this dish is for you. Leftover beer. Mm, mix them all together. Ah, oh, this is going to be so wonderful. Almond meal is good because it gives you texture as well as flavor. And then you dip the whole thing. Dip the whole thing right here. Look at this. Very simple. It's a very light batter. You don't want to make it too big, okay? Very, very light batter. We'll put this. Beautiful. Like that. And make sure, once again, the oil is hot enough. Ah, thermometer. Ancient thermometer. Let me see. The bubble is coming up. Can you see the bubble? Instantly coming up, but it's not vigorous. It's just the right temperature to deep fry this. We'll put this right over here. Whoa, look at this. Then uh, this is uh, a Japanese uh, technique that they do it for tempura. You use your hand. You press tiny bit over here, tiny bit over here, tiny bit over here. You see? This way, it gives you that nice, wonderful texture. Look at this. Mm, look how beautiful. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. You deep fry it for approximately two to two and a half minutes over medium heat. Now, well, I have one that's already really done ahead of time. We're going to take it over here, and we're going to cut this up, okay? We're going to cut this up. First, you cut it in half. And then you cut it in an angle, like this. Okay. Mm. This way, it sits up. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Cut it up, an angle. Mm. Look at this. They can sit up. In the meantime, you get ready. The dressing. Here, I have some soy sauce, wasabi, poison sauce, and soy sauce. And there's some plum sauce. This is Chef Glenn Chu's favorite. That's why every time I go to Hawaii, for those of you who love Hawaii, you should go there. Great bitches, wonderful East West food. When this is all nice and done, we're going to put this right over here. This is our dressing, okay? And then we will put this right over here, and that's our ahi roll. Look at this, beautiful. This is what it is. Chef Glenn Chu's beer better ahi rolls. I'm deep frying some wonderful taro chips that you can buy in Hawaii. I'm making um, my version of Chef Wong's duck nacho. Put it right over here. Now, this is taro. Chef, like Chef Wong, they always create magic. What is magic? Ah, this is magic. Look at this. I have some shrimp chips here. I'm going to show you instant magic. You put it over here. Magic! Boom! Ha! Ah, this is magic, okay? And this is shrimp flavored chips. A lot of the time you go to Chinese restaurant and you have fried chicken, they serve with this, okay? This, we use it as a garnish, okay? And then, of course, you can continue to do more taro chips. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make the guacamole. First, use a ripe but firm avocado. Cut in half, twist this, open it up, Use a knife, and you remove this seat like this. 
And then you dice this, okay? Dice this. Avocado, put the shallot, tomato, dice avocado, garlic, and green onion, and cilantro. Put them all together to make that oh, guacamole. My version, oh, Chinese style. Oh, chili garlic sauce, lime juice. Ah, you like sake? This is for you. Sake, and a tiny bit of pepper, a tiny bit of salt. Mix them all up. Now look at this. You should make this way ahead of time and put it in the fridge. This way, you can prepare a lot of things at the same time. I have some done ahead of time. Make sure to avoid browning. You put a plastic wrap, cover it, so there's very little oxidation. Then we'll mix them all up together. We add to our guacamole. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to assemble this. Here, you have this. Put a diner of guacamole here. Mm. A little slice of sliced duck. A tiny, tiny bit of hoisin sauce. Now, look at this. A tiny bit of chili sauce. Squeeze it in, and then you can put it over here, okay? And then, of course, always, always garnish your dish. Always garnish your dish. Look at that. I want to show you one more thing. When you do this, this is how you garnish your whole dish. Use all of these shrimp chips. You know the great thing about shrimp chips? Mm. You can eat it. This wonderful snack. I'm going to garnish this whole thing. Mm. This is yellow. This is a ooh, sweet potato. Put them all together right here. And then tiny time with a green onion. Look how beautiful this is. Garnish. And also more of this sauce. Wonderful. You know what? Roast duck nacho. <laughs> Look at that. You see? It is not that hard to be a kitchen magician when you know the secret. Just like Chef Alan Wong and Chef Glenn Chu. Just try it yourself. Remember, if Yang can roll, so can you. Just like in Hawaii, you say, aloha. <laughs>